Congratulations to them. Getting yeah. their own breeds. I'm waiting to walk on the green belt and see these, you know, be like, what Dogs. a beautiful dog. Uh, <laughs> what kind is it? Uh, well, sir, of course, it's the Netherlands uh, Quaker Hansa. Everyone knows that. So Yeah, yeah. for my pick, it'd be the Pomsky that got its own national time. Because I think those are the cutest dogs, right? That, what is it? Pomeranian the mix, and, and the... a husky mix. Oh, okay. Just these little tiny little cute balls, balls of fluff. Yeah, they're yeah. cute. And then so. Lauren was talking about the Super Bowl. What, what okay. amazes me is that I think I heard about it, then forgot about it, then just heard about it recently. Oh, okay. The Super Bowl's in Atlanta. That's where yep. uh, Chick-fil-A is headquartered. There's oh. a Chick-fil-A in the stadium, but in NFL a... games are played when? Sundays. On Sundays. Oh, they're Chick closed. And they're closed. They don't, and you'd think, oh, well, this one will be open. No, that, that, what? that Chick-fil-A well, will What do closed. they get business then? What else is it? I guess, yeah. Okay, I, guess other I don't know games. if you can access it, like maybe yeah. from the outside or something, but okay. that kind of, I was like, so your, your company's closed on Sundays and that's when... when the, it's the biggest moneymaker opportunity for the whole year. Right, probably. but yeah, I think I saw an announcement that they will still be closed on oh, Sunday, okay. Super Bowl Sunday. All right, even. sticking true. Give the yeah. employees some time off. So, mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Also, that the stadium looks amazing. And does yeah. everyone get a Mercedes when you leave? I don't, Mercedes I don't think so. Maybe that'll no. be a promotion... Next, $10 next off. Here's, yeah, $10 off your next band. There yeah. you go. All right, well, uh, looking outside this morning, Mother Nature giving us uh, some quiet weather out there. That wasn't the case this last week, though. We've had quite a bit of active weather up in our mountain areas. Some much needed snowfall. In fact, uh, with some of the reports, you know, feet of new snow at some of the ski resorts over the weekend, uh, we're doing a lot better as far as the snowpack is concerned. We could still do a little more. We could have uh, a little more snow in the Boise and Payette basins. We're still in just the 80th percentile, so 80% exactly in the Boise Basin uh, and 87% of normal in the Payette Basin. Weezer, Owahi, Bruno, and uh, those basins are looking pretty good. The Salmon Basin's at 85%. So outside this morning, things are looking pretty good. We've had some areas with just some uh, patchy fog. This is uh, looking at Interstate 84 and Broadway. Things look pretty great this morning across parts of the downtown. Well, some areas below freezing, especially here near Boise. You're going to have a little bit of frost on your windshield. You're going to need to scrape off, but it's a quick scrape. It's a very thin layer, so nothing too significant holding you back on your Friday eve. All right, here's a look at temperatures across the Treasure Valley this morning. We mentioned we're below freezing in Boise, Nampa. 33 degrees, 36 in Ontario, Baker City coming in at 35, 18 in McCall though, boy the Mountain Valleys, yeah they're sure freezing out there, 9 degrees in Stanley and 21 in Sun Valley. All right, what well, we can expect with the forecast moving forward, we can expect to see a continuation of patchy morning fog, especially as we head into the weekend. The reason being, we're going to have a valley inversion start to build up with a ridge of high pressure in place. We're going to see mainly dry northwest flow, but uh, some sun and clouds are possible and dry weather sticking around for now. Dry weather is not the case for much of the east coast this morning, so showers now starting to leave the, the uh, deep south, still impacting parts of the Florida, uh, the uh, peninsula there. Otherwise, we're seeing showers widespread across uh, the northeast, and again, rain moving into uh, the New England area. Dry weather for much of the central U.S., and then also for the Pacific Northwest. So we've got that northwest flow in place. You can see the clouds coming in. That ridge of high pressure is going to continue to block any storm systems that come in from the Pacific. And we're going to stay dry, folks, for the next seven days. In fact, there's just a slight, in fact, a 10% chance showing up on Friday for, and Monday for a, a sprinkle or two. But I'm just expecting a little bit of cloud cover. Otherwise, things are going to be dry. And that reason is, is that ridge of high pressure is going to keep uh, the upper level winds coming out of the north, northwest, steering all the storms up to the north and east of us. Uh, north and west of us, excuse me, as they come in off the Pacific. And typically, as we have a ridge in place, that usually does create that opportunity for valley inversions to kind of build in. And as we put this into early next week, not a whole lot of change with our weather pattern. Uh, we do weaken that ridge just a little bit, but models are indicating this dry weather pattern is going to stick around for quite some time. So, extended forecast for the Treasure Valley. Yeah, temperatures aren't going to uh, fluctuate too much moving forward. We're going to be in those mid to low 40s. Could start to see a decline in temperatures with inversion as we head into the weekend, but models right now suggesting that we should be in the mid 40s or so as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Uh, a mixture of sun and clouds most days, but quite a bit of sunshine, I think, on Saturday. A few more clouds on Sunday. A weak storm, a front passing to the east of us will generate some cloud cover Sunday into Monday. That'll also help drop our temperatures into early next week. You'll notice it more in the mountain areas. In fact, we're going to be right near freezing, if not just above that, through Saturday. 31 on Sunday, and then we're in the 20s, folks, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, thanks to some cooler air that's being ushered.